what's happening now is reminiscent of what happened during the lynching era where black people could be killed by angry white citizens or law enforcement and there would be zero accountability and so we're seeing that happen again and we're saying we're not going to take it anymore that we are going to continue to rise up we're going to challenge the status quo if we have to shut down trains that's what we'll do if we have to march in the streets that's what we'll have to do if we have to show up at city hall or the state legislature or the governor's mansion that's what we will do you have to do things that will shake people from complacency and sometimes being stuck in traffic for an hour will do that to where finally you're listening to the message you're paying attention and you're recognizing that there are people who are frustrated with the way that the system is functioning um, and so i think it's important to continue to disrupt and to protest in the march just as they did during the 60s these have been nonviolent, peaceful demonstrations but i believe that a lot more people have been awakened as a result of those demonstrations and some have joined us in in, pro, in protests mm -hmm. in the aftermath of being inconvenienced i don't that think black cool. lives matter will disappear anytime soon um, i believe that what has happened with the epidemic of um, unarmed black people being killed at the hands of police and being shown on video the use of social media has amplified the message that it's awakened a sleeping giant I would argue that we've entered phase two of the civil rights movement. There was lots of unfinished business on the table when Dr. King was assassinated. And now this generation has been passed the torch to run the next leg of the race. And I believe that young people in Black Lives Matter um, are running that next leg of the race. And they're inviting those of us who are awake to participate and to be on the front lines fighting for change. And so sometimes it takes a violent incident to awaken people yeah. to the truth so that they can rise up and take a stand for justice and fight for their own rights, as well as the rights of their children and their children's children.